why I never went why I never went back to being a Jehovah Witness or why I never went back to the Jehovah Witness organization. Some of you probably know the story, some of you probably don't know the story. I shared the story on TikTok at one point and it went quite a number of places. Many people woke up, many people was upset by it as well, but it's just the truth of the matter. And so I'm going to share this also on this platform as well of why I never went back to Jehovah's Witnesses or being, among, being in the kingdom or the cars. People need to know this. People need to know. And those who are Jehovah's Witnesses who are watching this, please just consider what is being said there, you know, and pray about it, you know, because many people are a part of the organization and they think it's the truth. And I was the very same. I was like that as well. Now, one of the main reasons why I was around the Jehovah's Witnesses, the main reason was because they was preaching from the Bible. They were talking, they were always giving scriptural references for what they say they believe in. And because mainstream church was not really giving scriptures like that, you know, I thought that these people were true. Because for me, even now, you know, the, the word of God is very important. And so because they were giving the word of God at the time, at least, you know, giving your scriptures here and there through their publications, through their watchtowers, through their books. That, that was the main thing that attract, attracted me. The second thing that attracted me was the persecution that they went through. Because in reality, they do get persecuted. You know, most people don't like them. At least in my time. At least back here, here's back in, here in Jamaica. And so I was saying, according to the scripture, you know, you will be persecuted for these things. So that was the second thing that really attracted me to them. And so, you know, I started to really study with them. You know, someone off the internet or Facebook introduced me to them. And just by reading the books that attracted me because the books that they were giving to me, especially the book called what does the bible really teach it was kind of bringing it to scriptures and they're shooting it they're shooting it they're, they're, like oh they're shooting everything they're shooting all these things there's also some shooting it so these are the two main things that really attracted me the first thing was that they were always bringing it to the scriptures and they were being persecuted and i was saying yeah you're supposed to be persecuted for this Oh, the third thing as well that that, that, that that stood out to me was that they was always going from house to house um, preaching what they believed in and seeking converts, basically. They were seeking to convert people onto their kingdom all because they don't have a church, they have a kingdom all. So that was the next thing as well. I was saying these people are the people that actually go around. I don't see, I don't see church people doing this. So I was saying, okay, then, then that this, this has to be the true thing. Anyway, fast forward a little bit. I I was going to a vocational school. Um, at that time I was studying to become an electrician. And I can remember a, I can remember a teacher of mine saying that, you know, I was there witnessing to people. And the teacher of mine was saying that I should read other books outside. And that was never, never sitting well with me because in the witness, in the kingdom hall, they encourage you not to read anything outside, which is a part of their brainwashing, which is a part of their keeping you in their cult. That's why they keep you in their cult, by, not, by having you know, not reading outside. So you're... you're so your only so your information that you're getting is only from them. And that's what people keep you in their brainwashing, and that's what Jehovah Witness do to you. They brainwash you with just just feeding you with their information. And so about a year or two after, after not going to the kingdom hall for a while and kind of focusing back on life and so forth, I started to run in a lot of information about them and start to do what they has told me not to do. And one of the first 
videos I ran to run into was a video about people escaping the cult that's Jehovah's Witnesses. And I took a look on that video. I never took a look in the video to say, yeah, I want to see what's wrong with Jehovah's Witnesses. I just was very curious to see what these people have to say about people who are in the truth. Because <laughs> I was saying, you know, these people are the truth. So I listened to it and I started to slowly find out where this thing started from. And this is what you Jehovah's Witnesses need to know is that you need to find out where your religion start from. You know, where it started from. And it started from it started from this man called Charles T.S. Russell, who was actually a Freemason man. He was a Freemason. Matter of fact, he died a Freemason. And witnesses who are watching this, please go and just do your research on Charles T.S. Russell's grave. And you will see for yourself that Charles T.S. Russell is a Freemason. Look at his grave. Don't hide from the truth. Some of you, you hide from the truth and stay in a brainwashed place. Joseph is a very nice people. Don't get me wrong. But many of them, they're very brainwashed. Some of them are actually even dumbed down. When I talk with them, it's like they're oblivious to the world. The only, the only info that they have is the info that the watchtower feet give, they give to them. Some of them are very dumbed down. Some of them come as if they, they're so brainwashed that they're not even themselves anymore. For some of them, that's what I see with some of them. It's like they're, it's like they're gone. Honestly, I'm telling you the truth. I've seen it with multiple of them. Especially, the, especially the, the, the older, the older ones. It's like they're so brainwashed. So I started to find out that Charles Taylor was always a Freemason. He's a Freemason man, and I started to find out even about the many prophecies that that organization, that the leaders in that organization, proclaimed that never came to pass. Many, so many of them. Go and do your research, and then that starts at me, like what? And that kind of started to turn me off because I don't want to be a part of anything that that is Luciferian. And anybody who is in the Freemason is actually serving Lucifer, regardless of how they want to go around it, go around it, pretend or give some pretty name for it, call it society, brotherhood. The head of that thing is Lucifer. Lucifer is the head. Lucifer is that what they call it again, that, that light bearer in that in that cult called the Freemason. Lucifer is the ultimate god for that. Even though they might be inclusive of all these other gods, Lucifer is the head of that. So anyway, so that's one of the reasons why I never went back to be in a Jehovah's Witness. I never went back to even studying with them. At first I was kind of resisting these 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 things that, that I was learning. Because I wanted to believe that they were the truth. And I believe in myself that if these people are not the truth, then nobody else is the truth. You know, but I, but I, as I go along, I start to realize that Christ is actually the truth. Christ is the way. <laughs> Christ is the life. And so, Christ only want to see, Christ is seeking people who want to serve him in spirit and in truth. That's what Christ is seeking for. That people are going to serve him in lies and cults. And so, that's one of the main reasons why I never went back was when I found out that this thing was rooted in cult, era, era, a cult, a, a cult history. And these people still believe in Charles Tezos to be inspired by God. That Charles Tezos was, was, Charles Russell was inspired by God and all of that. They still believe it to this day. And as we, as I used to go along and listen to some of them, I realized that their doctrines changed little by little. Things that I never used to accept, they started to accept it. I remember even having hair on my head and a little beard and, and a little beard on my face. Not, not, not like this beard. This beard is a lot. No. But I can remember having a little beard on my face and they would tell me that I'm not, a, I'm not a Christian if I have this beard on my face and all of that. They had some very weird beliefs. Not according to the scripture either. Um, yeah. So that's, that, that's the main reason why I never went back. The main, main reason is that when I found out who started up this movement, who started up this organization, it's not a church, it's not a, 
it is a it, it is an organization it's an organized place it's not it's like a business place but it's an occultic business place if you know what i mean you know and they and they're doing a great job in brainwashing a whole lot of people and they work more than anybody else they work they 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 they, they evangelize more than the church i'm gonna be honest they, they evangelize more than the church and so the head is using all these people on the bottom to bring everybody under their brainwashing for some strange reason this is just my this is my personal opinion i believe all these people believe that they're that they're doing the right thing you know i believe many of them just believe that they're doing the right thing and may god have mercy on them but one thing I can also tell you about the Jehovah's Witnesses as I go along to learn from even others who are part of it is that they hide a lot they hide a lot, a lot of nastiness. They hide a lot of abuse, sexual abuse, they had a lot of they had a lot of molestation. And being around them myself I saw all those imperfections too. But you know, everybody nobody's perfect. You know, you can't see perfection anywhere. But they display a perfection before men. They display to be very perfect before men. They display to be as if they are different than even the church, but they're not really different than what's going on in the churches too. You know, elders are doing child molestation. You know, they actually shut up the mouth of victims because they do not want to make the organization look bad. So many, many young children are suffering because of it. Many young children become ex Jehovah's Witnesses as well because of what they suffered in that organization the parents will protect the organization more than their children you know they will protect, they would they would they will do their best to protect the name after the after organization more than even their own children and that's sad i'm not so committed to an organization that i will have my child suffer for what they never did somebody did something to them and then they are suffering and being dumbed down because of what somebody has did to them that's crazy but that's the main reason why i never went back to that organization it's an it's a cult and it's very subtle and dangerous don't go around them many of them they're very genuine you see these people come to you at your house they're genuine but the head is corrupt shalom